Hey everyone, welcome back. In this particular video, we are going to see what is spoofing. Okay, so in order to understand the spoofing, let's go to the, our board and let's understand with the simplest method possible. Okay, so uh, when I send the email, typically what exactly happens? This is what happens. So when we send email, it sends from the mail dot uh, open tf cloud dot com, which is my domain. In your case, it can be any domain that we use. Then what happens? This domain will go send to the let's say uh, gmail.com. Okay, it will send that particular email to the Gmail server, which is mail.gmail.com, and then Gmail will show that particular email into the account of the user. Let's say uh, in my case, fluxsystem.com. Okay, fluxsystem at gmail.com. Okay, that's the account by the way flux system at gmail.com that's the outcome okay so this is terror like typical process works this will send email to this one and uh, this google say will show the gmail on my gmail account okay so this is how the uh, process works and in this particular process if i want to verify from where email was coming then this guy will be directly able to verify that email is coming from this particular uh, opentfcloud.com okay so the fluxit uh, system will be able to get to know from where the emails are coming see this is the email uh, which is from the info at opentfcloud.com uh, this email was sent in the last video while we were testing the email server so this is the email right so in this particular email if i click right here in the third dot and if i click on the show original then it will show all details of the email okay so what is the details of the email from whom the email is coming email is coming from the info at uh, opentfcloud.com or this particular guy okay so i'll just copy all of this shit and i'll just paste it right here okay something like this paste the table okay so let me see yeah this is the information that we were able to track back okay so this is the first information then to whom the email was sent obviously this is going to be my ip address is it passing the spf record yes it is passing the spf record and original ip address of this server is this one okay so that's the ip it is passing the dkm record yes it is passing dmrc yes it is passing in addition it has the additional details also like uh, what is the message signature what is the uh, authentication headers and all of this including dkm record headers of the email every single thing that we need to see everything is here these details will be helpful these details will be helpful to backtrack the email from which server it is coming okay now what is the spoofing or what is the email spoofing so in the email spoofing all of this setup is quite similar let me just copy existing setup as it is so that it will be easy but in this setup there will be small change the mail will be sent from the mail uh, dot opentfcloud.com to the gmail.com to the flexit.com which is the account but when you try to check from where the email is coming then in that case the data is going to be different it is not going to say this particular information it is going to say information let's say info at fake.com or let's say uh, this info at fake.com or uh, information can be let's say um, uh, i don't know info at amazon.com okay amazon.com or let's say uh, john at amazon.com like amazon.com right so this kind of information can be shown here but when user checks the uh, actual email server then in that case it will show that actual email server is this one mail.opentfcloud.com but uh, username of the email is john at sorry the fake info at fake.com and that's exactly is the email spoofing basically we are using exactly same server but we are basically uh, spoofing that particular email to the same other name let's say uh, i don't know info at fake.com and sending that particular email 
to the this guy right here okay now how exactly attacker use this particular method let me show you how they will use this particular mail.opatfcloud.com server but here they will say like info at uh, firefy.com uh, firefy.in and in the email 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 body uh, in the email body they might say that uh, uh, click on link to you know uh, reset password okay reset password okay so once users click on this particular link it is been fetched right that's the whole purpose so user will think this fluxet or uh, guy will think that okay so it is saying click on the link to reset the password right so that means this uh, email is coming from the info at firefy.in so i have account on info firefy.in so it might be for my account so he might click on that particular link okay it is just an example it is like typical example how this attack work okay how this poofing work okay so this is how it is done the server will be from mail.opendfcloud.com any provider in the world and uh, uh, email is basically spoofed to the info at firefy.in and it is sent to the target this guy right here is a target let me make it red and uh, in the email body this will be content click on the link for whatever it is and if this ray uh, flux if the flux is clicking on that particular link then obviously all of the information of the flux is going to be for uh i don't know attacker okay attacker will be able to steal all of the information right so yeah this is how stereotypical phishing or spoofing attack works okay i hope you understand everything uh i made a little bit simple by using the these diagrams but in case if you still haven't understand anything please let me know and you can ask those particular questions on the fluxet.com or in the comment also and obviously i'm going to answer your questions but the community will be also going to answer your questions right so yeah that's all for this particular video and thanks for watching and see you in the next